Ophthalmology Associates of the Valley is the oldest and largest ophthalmology practice in the San Fernando Valley. We are nationally recognized as leaders in innovative and advanced eye surgery. We hope that you find the following eye surgery as incredible as we do. This is a topical clear corneal cataract extraction videotape where we're going to remove the cataract and then implant an intraocular lens. This particular lens is going to be a crystal lens, which is a accommodating intraocular lens which gives patients uh, distance vision simultaneously with near vision. The surgery is done under topical anesthesia and the patient cannot feel anything being done here. Um, that's a diamond knife that just made a small little incision here into the eye. A little bit of fluid is injected in the eye. This is a topical anesthetic which goes inside the eye um, which uh, helps numb the eye up even further. This is a jelly being injected in the eye. It's called a viscoelastic and it maintains the shape of the, uh, of the eye. Next you're going to see the incision being fashioned with uh, two different types of diamond knives. The reason for the diamond knives is they make a very uh, precise and clean incision. And the goal here is to make this self-sealing, meaning that we don't need to put any stitches at the end of the surgery to keep the eye watertight. The patient cannot feel any of this being done. They are awake, often talking to me during the surgery, but they're not having any discomfort or any sensation. This is a special type of needle which is going to make a small little tear in the front part of the lens called the anterior capsule. As you can see, the, the tear is being extended down towards the bottom. Next, an instrument is going to go in the eye which is going to make this into a continuous curvilinear fashion. So it's a basically a circular open, opening in the front surface of the lens. The goal here is to give us ourselves access to this lens structure, which is uh, quite a large and thick structure sitting inside of the eye. So this whole structure here is the lens, and it's very thick. What we're doing now, as you can see it being peeled back, is this: we're trying to create this circular opening within the front part of the lens so that another instrument can go inside the lens and remove the contents of it. A little bit of fluid is going to be injected inside the lens capsule to free up the, the, what we call the nucleus, which is the part of the lens that, uh, um, uh, as you can see there, it's almost popping forward. So the nucleus needs to be freed so it can be easily moved uh, with instruments during the surgery. This is called phaco emulsification. This is about the size of a pen tip, and the, the front part of the, of, the, of the phaco emulsification instrument, this metal part, it's like a little jackhammer. It moves back and forth very rapidly as well as rotationally from side to side. And it, it creates a sound wave bursts which break the lens up into small little fragments. As you can see, I'm making a little groove here and now it's going to be cracked. So we're going to crack the lens in half, which is being done now. The lens is then rotated and we once again make these small grooves within the lens. Deeper and deeper and then it will be cracked into four different pieces. So as you can see, the uh, lens fragments are freed and now they're going to be removed. And these are large quadrants, we call them. And as you can see, the instrument sucks out the quadrant, cracks it into small little pieces, and then vacuums them into this, inside this little needle tip, which has a, a hollow hole within it, so the fragments can be uh, efficiently removed. Notice how yellowish brown the lens fragment is. This is what obstructs the light from getting inside the eye and makes the patient's vision blurry. So um, miraculously, once again, these patients are not feeling any of these uh, any of these manipulations or maneuvers. You can probably notice how much brighter the red reflex or the reflected light is with the cataract having been removed. These little wisp-like structures you're seeing here are, car are called cortical fibers, which are going to be removed now with a separate instrument, which basically uh, aspirates the fibers off the lens capsule. The, uh, the best way to describe what a cataract is is if you took a, uh, a water balloon, filled it with water, and then froze it, uh, the ice within that water balloon um, is basically being removed during cataract surgery. We're leaving the water balloon intact except for the small circular hole in the front part which gives us access to the ice. And as you can see, the ice has almost been completely removed now, but at the same time we've left the water balloon in place. 
And now we're going to get ready to implant the interactive lens into that capsular bag or that water balloon, which will keep the uh, lens implant intact and safe. Notice how nice and clear the structures are. And once again, you can see the edges of this circular hole within the capsular bag. The anterior, the front part of the eye and the bag itself are going to be filled with this viscoelastic again to maintain shape and structure. You're then going to notice the injector which is going to insert this intraocular lens. There are different types of uh, intraocular lenses. Uh, this one particular lens is called a crystal lens and its major advantage is that it can give patients near vision. It accommodates. It moves slightly forward and backwards to accomplish good distance vision and good reading vision. It's going to go through this small three millimeter incision here and then it will unfold inside of the eye. And the reason for the advantage of foldable lenses um, are that they can be put through a very tiny incision and uh, minimizing any astigmatism creation um, and uh, any chance of having wound leaks postoperatively and thereby limiting the infection risk. So the lens is being folded and prepared at the present time. So now the lens implants being, in, it, it, the cartridge is being inserted and you'll see the lens here being pushed forward and you'll see these little hooks called haptics which are going to be the first thing to come out and the haptics, these hooks keep the lens in place within the capsular bag as you can see that the haptics are out and now the lens is going to pop out and it's typical for it to pop out that quickly. This is the lens, the intraocular lens optic and as you can see these haptics here are, are attached to a hinge-like device which makes the crystal lens unique. This is what enables the crystal lens to focus back and forth. As you can see, there's a little hinge here and there's a hinge up in here as well. So there's a hinge on this side of the lens as well as on this side of the lens. And that hinge is what enables the lens to move forward and back. The lens is being positioned in the correct orientation to achieve maximal accommodation. The jelly-like viscoelastic is being removed now from the eye as the lens is being centered well. And you can see how nicely centered the lens is. Once again, this is the optic, almost like a contact lens. Here's one hinge and here's the other hinge. And this lens is able to move back and forth as the patient makes muscle movements to achieve accommodation. The wound is being hydrated both here and here with a little bit of fluid. And this fluid creates a watertight structure which um, prevents any leakage of, uh, from the eye. Once again, no stitches are needed in this type of surgery because of the diamond knives, the small incision, as well as some of the uh, modern surgical techniques with, that we're using. The eye will be checked for leaks. I often push on the eye with both my finger and other instruments to make sure that the fluid is not going to leak from the eye. And then once again, this is a check to make sure the lens is staying in a backward position. We don't want the lens to come forward. There I am checking the, uh, the eye to make sure it's watertight and not going to leak. This is difficult to achieve from this dimensions, but the lens is sitting posteriorly or backwards, which is the correct position um, uh, uh, during the surgery.